being able to drill in and forecast and plan on that level of detail made it so that we really we could never go back to Google Sheets. Zach is the director of FPNA at Quick, which is an on-demand marketplace for shift work in the hospitality industry. Quick is a complex business. Our business is on demand. It, there's no contracts. It's a very hard business to forecast. But there are also very specific things that they want to measure and keep track of. We probably have close to 200 unique custom metrics built. So in today's conversation, I asked Zach to show us how he managed to customize Mosaic to their business model. So what we've done is create these tailored dashboards uh, for each department. We'll also talk about why Zach chose Mosaic over other tools that they looked at, what the implementation was like, what the learning curve was like for different folks, and crucially, whether Mosaic was a good investment one year on. Let's dive in. Okay, Zach, uh, welcome to the show. Really appreciate you coming on and um, talking to us about Mosaic. Before we get into things, I'd love it if you could just share your screen with some dummy data and just show us how you're using Mosaic at Quick today. Yeah, well, first of all, really appreciate you having me on. Um, we use Mosaic for a lot uh, at Quick, and it's very multifaceted, a lot of functionality to unpack. Uh, one of the things that initially drew us to Mosaic was all of just the things you get out of the box. With three clicks, you can see you know, what is your run rate? How much are you burning? Really visualize what you expect your cash balance to be in the future. And those things just come out of the box. So it's it's very quick, it's very easy, and you get value right away. One of the things that is more specific to Quick and, and how we use Mosaic, we really want to get financial information in the hands of not just the finance team, but everybody uh, in our company. And simply sending a PL to someone doesn't always allow them to understand like, what does this mean? How do I impact the PL? So what we've done is create these tailored dashboards uh, for each department. And within that, showing each department, hey, here are the accounts that you that you're impacting on the PL. Here are the vendors that are are you're commonly spending on. Here is what we are forecasting against those vendors and really your department as a whole and here are how your actuals are coming through. So these really specific dashboards allows us to give our company the financial perspective that they need without inundating them with a lot of other stuff or, or maybe things that they don't quite understand because they're not within the finance function. So Mosaic has given us a, a foundation to, to do that really effectively and a lot of people in our company can make better decisions because of those dashboards. While the out of the box stuff is amazing, there are a lot of uh, metrics and equations that we use all the time internally, and we really wanted to uh, build those out in Mosaic. So custom metrics is one of the newer releases that they had, and it has been a game changer in that we can go in and define, here's how we think about things like CAC, LTV, and really start to build our, our specific metric within the tool and then visualize that wherever we want. So uh, we might want to look at, you know, sales per specific position, maybe it's inside sales. So being able to say, okay, how many inside sales people do I have? How much revenue did each of them earn? That takes a few clicks within Mosaic. So custom metrics we use a lot for a lot of things, but uh, there really, is, it really opens up this infinite possibility of, of what you can visualize within the tool. And then one of the tools that we use is called, we call it the financial FAQ canvas. So we built this space essentially to help anybody have a basic understanding of our unit economics, you know, how much revenue do we earn on average per transaction? Uh, what is the lifetime or average lifetime of a customer? And so the way we describe it is if you were to sit down at dinner with someone and they asked you about, you know, the finances of Quick. You could go into Mosaic, see the dashboards that we put together. Finally, the, the, the thing that has proven to be the most valuable for us is just the scenario planning. It is extremely simple to take the same forecasts and create duplicates and change a single variable to see what is the impact on the PL, the balance sheet, and the overall company. So, you know, we might build a model out with five, six, seven different scenarios trying to see how things pan out. And within Mosaic, that, that's really easy. So I think a common example that other companies might use is 
what does it look like to see an accelerated hiring plan versus a more conservative hiring plan? With Mosaic, a few clicks of the button, and you can see those, you can line them up side by side, and not to see the impact on revenue, but see the impact on the balance sheet, impact on cash flow, like everything is all aggregated together, and uh, we use that every day. Awesome, that was great, man. Thanks, thanks for walking us through that. And obviously, like um, you were using Google Sheets before, right? And you can do some of the stuff on Google Sheets, but you know it requires some workarounds. And like, what's the biggest value add for you of moving all of your financial processes from Google Sheets into Mosaic? I would just say that the dimensionality of it, uh, really being able to expand on more granular pieces of data than you really can accomplish within Google Sheets and, and do it quickly. So um, obviously we have different departments that we try to look at our uh, financials by. We also have right now 23 different markets that we operate in. So being able to um, see on that level of granularity, you know, how is this market doing first versus this other market? Um, vendor forecasting is also extremely powerful within Mosaic. If a department has 30 different vendors that they're paying for, it can be a lot of work in a Google Sheet to create individual forecasts for each and every one of those vendors. And that's just a Google Sheet that would be really hard to maintain or break at the end of the day. So um, I would say being able to drill in and forecast and plan on that level of detail um, made it so that we really, we could never go back to Google Sheets because now we're accustomed to this efficiency and, and level of detail that we couldn't accomplish with Google Sheets. Did you look at other tools before you eventually decided to go with Mosaic? Um, yeah, I'm curious, like what, what, what other kind of tools did you look at and what made you ultimately decide to go with Mosaic in the end? Yeah, so we looked at, I would say, two different categories of tools. Um, one was the really uh, enterprise tool, fp &A tools that, that we're accustomed to hearing about, you know, your, your net suites or your workday solutions and went down the path of, you know, working with sales teams and building out demo instances. And, you know, we were really impressed with the, the amount of functionality that we had. Ultimately, the, the price point, the dollar amount is extremely high investment for a solution like that. The alternative is we looked at a lot of other fp &A tools that served as kind of like extensions of Excel. So you would be able to kind of pull in your chart of accounts into an Excel sheet and you would be working in Excel and doing the planning there. But um, we we didn't, we wanted more functionality. We wanted more UI. We wanted more of a, a standardized experience because Excel, you know, there's infinite possibilities, right? But sometimes too much, too many options is uh, less efficient. And so ultimately the reason we came to Mosaic was we felt like we could still have all of the functionality that these enterprise level tools uh, brought to the table for a fraction of the price, you know, and the level of customization, the ease of use, the, the out of the box um, calculations that, that came with Mosaic, like it became very clear very quickly that this was going to be the best bang for our buck. And, we have absolutely no regrets since uh, since purchasing it. Nice. And was it hard to kind of get everybody else on board with using Mosaic in terms of getting the budget improved and getting them bought in for a need for kind of a tool outside of finance? We really need we really needed to upgrade our FP&A stack, regardless of, of what tool it was. And so I think being familiar with these large enterprise tools and knowing how much they cost, like it was it was pretty easy to get the budget for something like Mosaic because of how much less it was. Um, our business is on demand, it, there's no contracts involved. And so it's a very hard business to forecast. Uh, you're really looking at a lot of marketplace dynamics and seasonality and, and all that stuff. And so we needed to move pretty quickly on investing in something like this to start to have a much better picture of, you know, what's going on in our business? How do we scenario plan? And so, um, getting an fp &A tool is obviously a very expensive investment, but in the case of Mosaic, we were able to get buy-in and excitement over the tool really quickly because we went from having this finance function be isolated to uh, the finance team. With Mosaic, we really opened the finance function to the entire organization, giving everybody a chance to digest and interact and 
understand financial data. So within a matter of months, we had close to 50 users, whether it's, you know, customer support managers or even board members, like people from all different angles coming into Mosaic and being like, wow, this is really cool. And I know that sometimes like getting folks outside of finance to adopt these tools is a bit of a challenge. Um, you know, uh, the UI might be unfamiliar and like there's some kind of complex kind of modeling that they need to kind of get their head around. I'm curious, what was the learning curve like for the people outside of finance to using Mosaic? And what did the implementation process look like for getting them on board, getting them up to speed? Yeah, so I think th there are two different kinds of users really uh, in our case with Mosaic. Um, there are the kind of builders or analysts, uh, people like myself and th the rest of the finance folks that are actually constructing the models and, and building the calculations. And then a lot of the company really uses this kind of viewer access where they're going in and you know filtering charts and pivoting things different ways, but not exactly building. And so it Mosaic has such a clean user experience that even just sending someone a Mosaic link it's very easy to tell like, okay, I can filter here. I can look at month or date or month, year, quarter, whatever. And so the learning curve was really, um, was really simple for people that were just going to view. Um, there's a little bit more involved with people that are actually building and constructing these things. But I would say compared to every other tool that we tried, like we were considered, we were considering ourselves like experts in Mosaic within a month of using it. I will say to the the implementation team and customer support side of Mosaic, impressed me from day one. They're heavily involved with getting you up to speed, helping you build out your specific use cases. Like I said before, our business is on demand. A lot of majority of Mosaic's customers are, you know, these uh, these SaaS kind of contracted ARR. Like we don't use those terms as, as much. And I was really really happy with how they adopted us and said, okay, like, even though you're a little bit outside of what we normally do, like, we're gonna help you build uh, what you need out of this tool. So um, it took us, like I said, a couple a couple of weeks to really get up and running. And, you know, once we started sharing things out, people got the hang of it really quickly. And I noticed that Mosaic um, launched this metric, custom metric builder, right? Which allows you to create your own custom metrics that are not out of the box and you combine lots of different data sources. I guess you guys at Quick were kind of the guinea pig for this feature. I'm curious how you found working with this custom metric builder, creating your own metrics and um, yeah, kind of doing some of the more complex modeling, complex forecasting. What was, how have you found that so far? So yeah, we, we, use, we use custom metrics uh, every single day at this point. Uh, we probably have close to 200 unique custom metrics built. And that's because the, the more that we've dug into the uh, usability of it, we learn more and more about, wow, we could, we could look at things this way or that way. And so um, some of the, the biggest ways that we're using it is combining some of the operational data from Salesforce or our HR systems and meshing that with our financial data to see Okay, on an employee level, how efficient are we? On a market level, how efficient are we? Um, one of the things that we look at the most is isolating our PL by, you know, what, what's a corporate spend and what is our kind of market level operational spend. And so we use a kind of data warehouse, uh, cloud data platform, Mosaic, or sorry, Snowflake to pipe a lot of our internal database like data into Mosaic. And from there, we continue to add new models, new ways of looking at things, and really being able to upload any kind of data into Mosaic and mesh it with the financial side, like the possibilities end up being endless. Even as goals change, like we might decide, okay, we're gonna we're gonna set this new goal around the types of shifts that we're seeing. You know, we can build a Snowflake um, data model really quickly point it to Mosaic, and now we can visualize those against our financials. So um, it's really, really useful. I think it's one of the things that's going to separate Mosaic from a lot of the FP&A tools that are out there and something that we continue to learn more about and dive deeper into.